Bright Rain, the wonderful new lotion shampoo that leaves your hair sunshine bright, presents Bride and Groom. The honor of your presence is requested at the wedding of Miss Rachel Breitbart and Mr. Abraham Schwartz. Hello, we're so glad you could be with us at Bride and Groom. And today we're going to meet a young lady who fell in love with her older brother's best friend. Being the kid's sister made it kind of difficult for her to attract the young man. Because she was a resourceful miss, though, she uh, figured out a very feminine and plot, very successful one to solve her problem. In a few moments, they'll be married by Rabbi Jacob Kleinman of the East Concourse Hebrew Center. Of course, before a wedding, there's always romance, and before romance, well, there might be something like this. Say, this looks like fun. An afternoon at the amusement park and a very pretty girl. Doesn't she have beautiful hair, soft, silky, bright as sunshine? To keep my hair sunshine bright, I use White Rain. It's wonderful. You see, White Rain is a gentle lotion shampoo. It gives my hair the kindest, gentlest care, like real rainwater. Watch this. Did you ever see such wonderful suds? Why, it's like washing your hair in softest rainwater. And talk about rainwater results. White rain leaves your hair soft and silky, bright as sunshine. Use white rain tonight. Tomorrow, your hair will be sunshine bright. Use new white rain shampoo tonight, and tomorrow, your hair will be sunshine bright. White rain, white rain. And now I'd like you to meet our very pretty bride. She's Miss Rachel Bridebart. And her bridegroom is Mr. Abraham Schwartz. And let's start off by uh, talking to our bridegroom first, if that's all right, for a change. Uh, won't you please call us Ray and Al, John? Ray and Al? Uh, is that what your friends call you? Because I certainly want to be a friend. Well, tell us, about Al, where you live and how old you are and what well, you I'm do. Well, I'm 25. I live in Brooklyn. I work in the sales office of Blousemaker Incorporated. All right. Um, most of my main hobbies are sports. And in fact, it was through a sporting event that I had my first date with Ray. I want to hear about that, but first, uh, tell us about you, Ray. Well, John, I'm 22 years old, also from Brooklyn, and I work in the credit department for Meinhardt Graff Factory Incorporation. In how, how did you happen to meet and when, Ray? Well, it's strange that I uh, hadn't known Al, although he lives two blocks away from me. He lived there how In long? the neighborhood, oh, almost all of his life. Mm-hmm. And so have I, and we haven't met. And uh, I went to school with his sister, Betty, and he was a good friend of my brother's. And though uh, we didn't know each other existed. Well, when and did you finally meet? Well, this was in September 1951 at a party. Was it just very casually, even though you've been uh, together? Yeah. And is that the beginning of your going together, Al? Uh, no, that wasn't. That wasn't until a year later. Uh, I never did date her. After all, she was my friend's kid sister. Oh, I know what you mean. You, you liked her, but after all, just yeah. a kid sister. Well, what about this sporting event that got you your first date, Al? Oh, that uh, was very cute. Uh, that was in November of 52. We were watching the uh, fights on television, and Ray suggested that we have a bet on the outcome. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, fine, and if I won the bet, she'd have to go out with me on a date. And uh, needless to say, I won the bet, and we did have our first date that And that, that is a very excellent feminine idea. I can see how this worked out. There's a little suggestion of a bet, and it works out that you get a date. Did you have a good time on your first oh, date, We Rachel? had a wonderful time. We went to a movie and dinner, and, well, it wasn't until two weeks after when Al asked me out, he saw me out on a date with another fellow. Took you out on one date and had a good time, but it, wait, it took a little jealousy, uh -huh. maybe, Al, didn't Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> it dawned on me that I really liked her, and the next day I went out to her house, and, uh, well, over there, I was going to ask her out, and she surprised me by telling me to come to a Christmas party with her the following week. And uh, we've been going ever since. You've been going steady ever since that time? Yeah, and it was what, New what Year's Eve that I told her to be my wife. Did you ask her to marry you? You proposed? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Do you remember what you said? No, he doesn't remember. <laughs> I told him <laughs> that I told, I told him that uh, he told me he loved me, but he never asked me to marry him. He kept saying, I love you, but never said, uh -huh. let's get married? What, what did he do then? Well, he asked me, and I said, yes. Yeah. You were just <laughs> waiting for him to ask the question, because yes. you'd made up your mind a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What about your future plans? Well, Al and I plan to eventually have a family and settle down. And we know we're going to be very happy, because we've never had a quarrel, and we've found happiness in our own home. You know, that's the best place to look for it. And I'm sure you're going to have a home that'll be full of happiness, because that's a wonderful foundation for a great and happy life together. 
Uh, I think I'd like to meet your attendants right this second because I know Rabbi Klein is waiting and I must comment on how lovely you look in your Skinner Bridal Satin Gown. Beautiful bride. John. You certainly show it too. Maid of honor, treat the Hello. Best man, man, Jerry Janet. Jerry, how are you? Uh, you know your duties. Take good care of these beautiful matched keepsake wedding rings. A lovely diamond band, of course, for our bride. And the song you've asked Phil to sing? Beautiful song. As you all leave for the, the uh, ceremony, Phil Hanna will sing until. No rose in all the world until you came. No star until you smile upon life's sea. No song in all the world until you spoke. No hope until you gave your heart to me. Now love, yes love, is a fear of God and in the hearing of this assembly. Abraham, do you, of your own free will and consent, take Rachel to be your wife? And do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her throughout life? Rachel, do you, of your own free will and consent, take Abraham to be your husband? And do you promise to love, honor, and cherish him throughout life? Baruchat Hu Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvah Sov V'Tzivonu Al Hu Arayos V'Yosar Lonu Uso Arusos V'Hitir Lonu Uso Anasuos Lonu Al Yedei Chupo V'Kidushin Baruchat Hu Adonai Mekadesh Amo Yisrael Al Yedei Chupo V'Kidushin As together you now drink from this cup, so may you, under God's guidance, in perfect union and devotion to each other, draw contentment, comfort, and felicity from the cup of life, and thereby may you find life's joys doubly gladdening, its bitterness sweetened, and all things hallowed by true companionship and love. And now, Abraham, place this ring upon the finger of your bride as token of wedlock, and repeat the words which I now say. Hooray! Hooray! Mekudeshes, Li, Tabazu, Kedas Moshe of Israel. Thou art consecrated unto me. consecrated unto me. With this ring. With this ring. According to the faith of Moses and Israel. According to the faith of Moses and of Israel. Now that you have spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives, I do hereby, in conformity with the faith of Israel and the laws of our state. Declare your marriage to be valid and binding. And I pronounce you, Abraham, and Rachel, to be husband and wife before God and man. May our Heavenly Father be nigh unto you and shelter you beneath his wing against all the vicissitudes of life. May God satisfy you with long life, with health, and with happiness. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his countenance shine down upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. The breaking of the cup is symbolic of the blessed consummation of the ceremony. Unforgettable moment that joins forever the lives of two people very much in love. They'll be back with us in just a moment, but before we present the bride with wedding presents, I want you to meet another attractive girl, one with a lovely prom home permanent. It's a prom. Yes, the spring of the curl proves it's a prom. Promise yourself soft, natural looking, long lasting curls like these with prom. Prom, the easy new self-neutralizing home permanent. Easy? Well, look at me. I just put on prom lotion, waited 30 minutes, and rinsed it out in clear water. Now I'm free to do what I please, even shop. 
Well, my hair dries naturally on the curlers. You see, prom neutralizes itself. And now my shopping's done and so is my new prom. That's the beauty of prom. Your time's your own while you're getting a permanent. Did you ever see such soft, natural-looking curls? And just look at these springy ends. That proves it's a prom. Try it. And you'll be a prom girl permanently. Prom is the only self-neutralizing home permanent that gives you a choice of three different waving lotions. Of course, no one waving lotion is right for all types of hair. My hair is very easy to wave. So I use Prom very gentle. With Prom, you choose the one lotion that's right for your hair. There's Prom Super for hard to wave hair and for children's resistant hair. Prom Very Gentle for easy to wave hair. Prom Regular for normal to wave hair. So Prom, Prom, promise yourself a Prom today. I'm a Prom girl, permanently. And here come our bride and groom and it's Congratulations to you, Alice. Such yeah. a happy Congratulations moment. indeed. Well, now it's yes, wedding sir. gift time now, and first our sponsor wants you to have a bridal shower of wonderful white rain lotion shampoo and a supply of prom home permanent to make you a prom girl permanent. <laughs> From Springfield, three blankets of the purest wool. Springfield's artist colors will make a picture of your room. And to make a pretty picture of your table, you'll have 12 place settings in Queen Best silverware uh, designed by Oneida. You know the Hoover Company knows how a bride likes to keep her first home sweet home, so they're sending you their new Hoover tank-type vacuum cleaner. Television's already a big thing in your lives, and it'll continue to be with your very own Motorola television set. Well, you see what a good picture your Motorola gives you. From Samson, a set of their folding furniture with a post for you to wash and it's impression clean and beautiful sense and take it Because three squares are important to every bridegroom, you're going to really appreciate this fine tap and gas rain, Rachel. A tap and stove will make you an expert cook in no time. Yeah, and so you can attend your wedding as often as you wish. Our sponsors, the Prom and White Rain, are sending you a talking motion picture of your wedding here in bride and groom. Here's another very important souvenir. Yes, it's your honeymoon book, and let's look at the pictures. This is the car that's going to drive you from your reception to the airport. It's a 1953 Dual Street Pontiac, and there a luxurious Trans-Canada North Star Skyliner will be waiting to fly you non-stop to Montreal, Canada, where you'll be met and whisked off into the Laurentian Mountains north of Montreal to the fabulously beautiful Manor House in saint agathe de mont Quebec. There, you're going to be treated like royalty itself by your host, manager J.B. Lang. There'll be everything you wish. Romantic dancing, exciting entertainment, fine dining, tennis, riding stables, game rooms, golf, and all set against the backdrop of breathtaking mountains. And as you settle back in your Trans-Canada Skyliner, memories of a perfectly wonderful honeymoon will fill your heart. And they'll stay with you as long as you live. Now, thanks for letting us be with you this happy day. Ray. Good wishes for a large family and a happy home. I know you'll have both. A lot of wonderful people are waiting to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Schwartz. I shall take them with me. If you excuse me a moment, I'll join you in just a second. Tomorrow we're going to meet a romantically inclined young man who spent three years in three foreign countries only to end up marrying a girl back home. You can't call tomorrow a home wedding, though, because they're both thousands of miles from their home in Denmark. What started all this traveling makes for a most intriguing love story, one you'll enjoy and one which we'll hear tomorrow when Bride and Groom will be presented by General Mills. Today, Bride and Groom has been presented by Prom and White Rain Lotion Shampoo. It's a prom. Yes, the spring of the curl proves it's a prom. Prom is the only self-neutralizing home permanent that gives you a choice of three easier self-neutralizing lotions, one just right for your hair. There's Prom Super for hard-to-wave hair and for children's resistant hair. Prom very gentle for easy to wave hair. Prom regular for normal to wave hair. Prom carries this seal of the American Medical Association. Enjoy Love of Life on the CBS Television Network.